Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create a poster in Photoshop. Let's start. Our topic today is blood donation camp by a health care center and they gave us a quote and as well as timing and date. So let's create a poster using that. First, let's see how to create document and size of the poster. Go to file, create a new document. We got a panel in that type the values. Keep it in inches and width is 8.5 and height 11. The resolution should be 3 and uh, depends upon the system and the project. It gives us the clarity of the output. Now we are going to jump into the main section called color mode. We have two options for now RGB and CMYK. Use of these are RGB is used for digital purpose and CMYK is used for printing purpose. If you are going to print your poster, give CMYK. If not, give RGB for digital purpose. And now give create document. Let's see methods one by one. First, what are the panels we need to create a poster? Let's drag and keep with us in the interface. Go to windows first select the layer and character paragraph and adjustments these are enough for now now i'm going to place an image in the document for that go to file place embedded press enter to release the transform controls for the image this is the image which i'm going to use to create the poster okay let's select the image and give ctrl t for transform option we are going to scale the image. We should not skew or stretch the image. If that happens, the originality of the image goes off. So while scaling the image, use shift and hold in the keyboard and it will scale overall image from the midpoint. Now if you use shift and drag in the corners, it will scale only on the corner. So it's your wish. You can use both options. Okay. Let me scale and place. If done, press enter in the keyboard. Now we are going to see a new method. It's called shape masking. Let's create a rectangle. Before that, check in the panel option. It's in shape option or not. Drag and create a rectangle. Rectangle is being created. What we have to check now is layers. Rectangle shape layer is on the top and the image layer is on the below. For creating shape masking method, the image layer should be on the top of the shape layer. Let's do that and create shape masking. Drag the shape layer and place it below the image layer. Done. Now right click the image layer and give the options called create clip masking. You can see that the image got masked in the rectangle shape. Then we have an another method without right clicking options. Give control Z. Let's see what it is. Press Alt in the keyboard and go to the layers panel. If you take the cursor in between the two layers, you can see the cursor got changed. Now just click using mouse. That's it. Shape masking is done. Okay. If you see there in the shape left and right, it's left out without color because the image size is small. So we can fix it using color in the rectangle shape itself. For that, use eyedropper tool and pick the color from the image first. The eyedropper shortcut is I and select the selection tool. Now go to the fill option, select the color, it's done. Now you can see there, everything is fine. Let's create a text. Press T in the keyboard for the text tool. In the text tool, we have lots to see. First, let's create the title blood donation. To increase and decrease the size of the text, we can use the character panel or shortcuts. Let's first select the text. Take the text tool cursor and click on the text and press Ctrl A in the keyboard. You can see there all the text got selected. To increase and decrease the size, press Ctrl plus Shift plus greater symbol, lesser symbol in the keyboard. You can see there to increase the size, press Ctrl plus Shift plus greater symbol. To decrease the size, press Ctrl plus Shift plus lesser symbol. We're going to change the color. You can use eyedropper or else color palette. It's up to you. 
Now we change the color. Let's add the quotes and the timings place they gave using text tool. Have a look what I do. Use the guidelines to place the text and shape and duplicate the text and use the same text for time option and the place. Use alt and click and drag the text. We will get the duplicate option. Now if you see there we have to use the character option for the date, uppercase option, select the letter and go to the character option, select the option what I did and we can also increase and decrease the size using the shortcuts or else the character option in the panel. Now select the text to be aligned. Select and go to the menu section and give align horizontal characters. Let me create a shape and place a text inside that. Finally, a simple poster using text, image and with solid colors is done. Let's arrange the layers and rename it. Have a look. This is how we have to arrange the layers. Let's see the last method and let's finish up. We saw shape masking like image is being masked inside rectangle. Now we are going to see an image mask in the shape and text. Let me create a new document and let us use the same image. Go to the poster and use move tool and click the image. Use Ctrl plus J for duplicate the layer. Click and drag the image to the document. Now scale and place the image. Use Ctrl T to scale. Create a rectangle and create the text. Now creating rectangle and text is over. Create a group for rectangle and text. Select both the layer, use shift and press ctrl plus G for a group. As I told before, the image should be always on the top. So drag and drop the image on the top of the group. Now just click the image and give clip masking or else use the shortcut which I said before. That's it. We got the design. We can also use this for our poster. Okay, this is all about image masking and text masking in Photoshop with an example. Let's catch up in the next video. Thank you. Peace.